I've been invited here tonight to talk to you about a concept I call household gold. Let's start with a question. How many of you in the audience own your own homes? Raise your hands. Wow, look at, look at the sea of hands there. Looks like 95% of you own your own homes, and good for you. This audience is well ahead of the national average. According to government statistics, 70% of Americans own their own homes. Homeownership is the cornerstone of the American dream, isn't it? And for good reason. As a homeowner, you're benefiting from the equity in your real estate. Now let me ask all you homeowners in the audience another question. When you were shopping around for the lowest interest rate on your home mortgage, what would you have done if the lender said, uh, we have the lowest rates in town. Our rate is 20% less than our competitors, guaranteed. We're known the world over as the lender with everyday low rates. And all you have to do to get our guaranteed lowest rate is to give us the equity in your home. What would you have said to the lender? Something like, excuse me, you want the equity in my house? You must be kidding me. I own my own house so that I can benefit from the equity, not you. That's my money, not yours. Get real. Nobody in their right mind would give a lender the equity in their house, would they? There's no way. It's incomprehensible. Yet these same people who jealously guard the equity in their house will drive clear across town to give Walmart the equity in their household. Yeah, you heard me right. Households contain equity too, just as houses do. I call this equity in your household retail estate as opposed to real estate. I coined the term retail estate because most of the products in our households were purchased from retail stores. And just as your real estate contains equity, your retail estate contains equity also. Let's take a brief moment to talk about this thing called equity. In real estate, equity is the market value of your home minus the outstanding balance on your mortgage. If your home is worth a hundred and twenty-five thousand and you owe a balance of twenty-five thousand you have a hundred thousand dollars of equity in your house that hundred thousand is yours to grow or to tap into as you see fit the same principle applies to your household if you spend five hundred dollars a month on various household supplies and services for example and it only costs the manufacturer of those products say a hundred dollars to make those products that leaves four hundred dollars worth of equity in your household each month now here's the catch unlike the equity in real estate which consumers treasure and guard most consumers give away the equity in the retail estate it's true think about it when you shop at retail stores you get the product but they get the profit and that profit comes straight out of your household equity let me explain let's say a retailer buys a widget for ten dollars and resells it to you for twenty dollars that ten dollar difference is your equity they pocket the ten dollar difference and put it into their bank account instead of yours right yes you get the product, but they get the profit. Well, wouldn't it be great if you could position yourself to get the product and the profit? Wouldn't it be great if you could convert your household expenses to household income? Well, that's what my book, Household Gold, is all about, positioning yourself for income instead of outgo when you shop. Now, some of you may be thinking, I'm with you so far, Steve, but let's face it, the equity in my retail estate, as you call it, is so small compared to the equity in my real estate that it's just not worth talking about. Well, when I talk about mining household gold, I'm not talking about mining the equity in just your household. 
I'm talking about a proven, time-tested business model that will enable you to tap into the monthly retail estate in not only your household, but also your neighbor's household and your neighbor's neighbor's household and on and on throughout your neighborhood and throughout all the neighborhoods in your city and throughout all the neighborhoods across the country and even around the globe. When you include all the households instead of just one household, the numbers get huge. How huge? Here are the facts. According to the U.S. Labor Department, the discretionary dollars for the typical American family averages $770 a month, which calculates to $9,250 a year. Most of that $770 a month is spent on household products and services. This $770 a month is what I call household gold. It's a gold mine of equity that never runs dry. Every single month you have to buy household essentials, right? Most of your purchases are consumables, but you also have to buy durables from time to time. So, you purchase dozens of products each month, hundreds each year, from cleaning supplies to computers, from detergent to DVD players, from makeup to mops, from vitamins to vacuum cleaners and everything in between. These household essentials make up your retail estate, a gold mine of equity that never runs dry just waiting to be mined by you. Now pay close attention because this is where it gets really interesting. What do consumers buy when they shop at Walmart, the world's biggest retailer? Mostly household products, correct? Consumers buy the products I just mentioned, makeup and supplements and detergent and so on, products that every household needs on a regular basis. If just one household bought those things, Walmart wouldn't exist, would it? There's no business opportunity there. But because millions of households need household essentials, Walmart has grown into the biggest, most profitable company in the world. And they're planning to double, maybe even triple in size. Walmart's game plan is to open a new store somewhere in the world every single day for the next 10 years. Walmart is on track to become the world's first trillion dollar a year company. When you look at it that way, retail estate doesn't look like such small potatoes, does it? looks more like a giant potato the size of the globe. Wouldn't it be great if, like Walmart, you could position yourself for a piece of the profits and not have to settle for just the products? Now think about that for a moment. Why make retailers richer when you could get richer? Why make the Walton family richer when you could make your family richer? Let's face the facts. The five heirs to the Walmart fortune, Sam's widow, Helen, and their four kids, are rich enough as it is. They're worth $20 billion each. $20 billion each. So when you rush off to Walmart to shop, you're opening your household gold mine to the Waltons, aren't you? What are you trying to do? Make them the world's first trillionaires? Think before you shop. So, how do you mine household gold? How do you convert household expenses to household income and own your own life in the process? Simple. All you do is switch places in the retail distribution chain. Instead of staying in the consumer slot, spending money, you move up to the supplier rep spot and start making money. Let me elaborate a little bit. As a consumer, everybody along the retail distribution chain makes money but you, right? The manufacturer slash supplier makes money. The supplier rep makes money. The retail store makes money. And even the stockholder in the retail store makes money. 
all of these people along the retail distribution chain are mining your household gold. Think about it. Your $770 a month, $9,250 a year is going into someone else's pocket. It's like inviting claim jumpers into your gold mine and helping them dig the gold so that they can take it home. Makes no sense. But in the household gold concept, you become an independent supplier rep for an innovative, forward-thinking supplier slash manufacturer, thereby cutting out all of those middlemen and putting you in the profit slot right where you belong. By using the products and spreading the word about household gold, you position yourself to mine the equity of hundreds or even thousands of household gold mines around the globe month after month after month. All you do is buy and use the products and then share the products and concept with others. And the manufacturer slash supplier does all the rest. They warehouse and ship the products, do the accounting, and pay the commissions. All you do is use the products and share the concept with others. What could be simpler than that? What's the business potential of household gold? Or do you remember what the average family spends on their retail estate? $770 each month or $9,250 each year. Now hold on to your seat. The government estimates that there are 118 million households in the U.S. alone. Multiply 118 million households by $9,250 a year and you come up with the astronomical figure of 1.1 trillion, which is close to 15% of our nation's annual economy. That's the size of the collective household gold mine in the U.S. per year. Now get this, the United States is only 6% of the world's population. And the household gold concept is a business without borders which means you can mine retail estate in households throughout the US, Canada, South America, Europe, India, Korea, Thailand, Japan, China, the list goes on and on. And best of all, household gold is renewable, meaning that this global gold mine never runs dry. Have you ever heard of the stealth bomber? Originally named the B-2 bomber, the stealth earned its nickname because it's invisible to radar. Well, I call retail estate stealth wealth because it can't be picked up by most people's mental radar. People look at all the products in their households that they buy month in and month out, but they can't see the wealth hidden in those possessions. I can tell you this, Walmart sees the stealth wealth contained in your retail estate, and as a result, each year for the last 40 years, Walmart has been chalking up record growth and record profits. Well, folks, you can do the same. You can become a Walmart without the walls. All you have to do to improve your finances is improve your mental radar by opening your mind to seeing the equity contained in the household products that you walk by every single day. I opened my talk with a question and now I'd like to close with a few more. Are you tired of being the person who spends the money instead of the person who makes the money? Are you tired of your outgo exceeding your income? Are you tired of the retailers getting richer while you continue to get poorer? Do you have an open mind? Are you ready to update your mental radar and learn how to see the wealth hidden in your household? And finally, are you ready to convert household expenses to household income and own your own life in the process? If the answer to any or all of these questions is yes, then get back with the person who invited you here tonight. 
Ask questions. Listen to the answers with an open mind and an open heart. And learn how you can get started mining your household gold. Thank you all. God bless and 